Hi, welcome back to uh, another episode of my E36 restoration project. I am now at a machine shop, it's an engineering shop. Today I am bringing my engine to get fully balanced and also some skin jobs uh, just to make sure that the engine is perfect when it's reassembled. This is the rotating assembly, the 3.0 crankshaft, the 3.0 piston horn rod, uh, ignore this, this is just an uh, aircon mount. Uh, I have to remove a broken bolt. This is the crank pulley, the pressure plate, the clutch, the block. Okay, so we're gonna do the machining job for this engine. Decking the block is still a bit of, uh, of experimental uh, uh, thing for me. I am doing, initially, I plan to deck a 0.4 millimeters. Okay, that would mean this is the block that I will shave off 0.4 mm. Actually, it's very little, but it affects the compression ratio. Just tag the whole thing by 0.4 mm. Uh, but after hearing uh, some advices from people, you know, I decided to tag a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to tag 0.6 mm from the block. Okay, the head is going to be untouched. And I'll use back standard gasket. So this would raise my compression ratio slightly above the uh, 10.5 and prob probably it will give better responsiveness. So when you are building an engine, of course when you buy new piston ring, new bearings, uh, they cost a lot. But guess what, actually machining your engine to perfect condition costs even more. Alright, so decking the block is uh, 350 uh, to balance all the rotating assembly is 1002. Just imagine that's all before you talk about reassembling the engine to its usable state, you know. It's just a matter of preparing it. You have already just spent a thousand or two thousand on it. Mad, right? Crazy things that we car guys do. What a financial mistake. <laughs> 